everyone, today I am trying something new. I am going to be cold brewing some tea today. Now, I grew up in the US and I drank a lot of iced tea in my day. Sweetened, unsweetened, way over sweetened. But I've never actually brewed any good tea. <laughs> so what I decided to do was on my last order from Bluebird Tea Co, I purchased the cold brew trio, which is basically three teas, which they're like, hey, you should cold brew this. Now you can, of course, drink them hot, but apparently they'll be good cold brewed. The three teas in the Bluebird Trio are lemonade, sangria, and pink grapefruit, and they all sound like summer sunshine, so I have high hopes for this. Now, you can cold brew with any tea that you want, but doing a herbal or green tea is supposedly better. I did Google how to cold brew about 20 minutes ago, so we're gonna see how this goes. Let's get into these three teas. I've only managed to open up one of them, be proud of me. <laughs> so we're gonna start out with the one that I've already tried and that is lemonade and it says when life gives you lemons brew lemonade. Just, just so sweet and it has apple pieces, rosehip, lemongrass, orange peel, what is that word? Caladula? Petals? I don't know what that is. Maybe I should google this. Oh we're googling it. Calendula. Oh! That's a marigold. <laughs> okay, marigold petals and natural flavoring. So this one I opened up for the first time and my reaction was, whoa, of course. It is, oh my goodness. I've even smelled this before and I'm still so happy with it. It is a beautiful lemon flavor and it, it, it smells like lemonade, but it's tea and that just, it doesn't make sense to me, but it makes sense because you just smell it and it's almost like a lemon candy. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous brew with a lot of big pieces in it, which is sometimes good, sometimes bad whenever you're brewing, depending on what sort of a device you use to actually brew with. Overall, this just, it smells perfectly of lemon. On to the next one. Let's go for pink grapefruit. Mouth-watering pink grapefruit juices plus Buttery green sencha tea. Buttery? I don't know how this... Well, ingredients. Chinese sencha green tea, hibiscus, orange peel, red corn flowers, and natural flavoring. Oh wow, that's beautiful. That is a pop! It just breathes in fresh grapefruit. It smells completely different to my other grapefruit. How do they do this? The last one I have to say, I have really high expectations for this and I don't know if this is gonna be good or bad because I have never had a bad experience with sangria. I love it. This one says, add some punch to your summer days with a sunshine tea tipple. The ingredients for this is hibiscus, apple pieces, rose hip, orange peel, coconut, Pineapple pieces, cardamom, lime peel, and flavoring. Huh. I was not expecting the, why am I playing with scissors? I was not expecting the coconut and pineapple. We'll see how this one goes. I'm hoping it fulfills all of my hopes and dreams and expectations in life. Cause T can do that, right? Oh, that's beautiful. definitely getting not bitter but that aroma that you get from wine and then it's mixed with a sweetness what is this magicalness I don't smell the pineapple or the coconut but at the same point I do if someone was just to hand this to me I wouldn't smell that I'm smelling the aroma of the wine with the complex sweetness of moldness we should just get brewing shouldn't we okay let's go many 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 hours later 
I may have overbrewed these on accident. Oops. So, first of all, these colors are absolutely gorgeous. They're out of a crayon box. They are absolutely gorgeous. I love looking at tea. <laughs> this just makes me happy. So let's start off with the lemonade. It doesn't smell quite as potent as the actual mix does. It just smells refreshingly cold. Hmm. Not too shabby. I would say this doesn't taste like lemonade to me. Uh, I have had this one hot and I felt like it tasted a little bit more lemonadey hot than what it does like this. Like this, it kind of tastes like lemon water, but not in a bad way by any means. I still very much enjoy this and this is a great one if you're just wanting something that is a different flavor than regular water. This is that subtle difference that'll just make you keep wanting to slurp more. Why are we slurping? I am getting a little bit of almost a lemon candy flavor and I love lemon candies. That'd be like my, the flavor I normally pick for would be like a lemon or vanilla. And I'm getting that and that's, that's fun. Pink grapefruit. So looking at this one through the light, you can see it is very, very pink, but it almost goes red at the very bottom. It's so pretty. <laughs> This one does smell more like the actual tea, so it does have that impactful pink grapefruit smell. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, this one has a little tang. This one is doing a bit of a coating on my tongue, and I think that I would have to be in the mood for this flavor in order to go through that. Not that that's a bad thing, but just for me, I like a lot more clean flavors. It's almost a little, a little tacky right now. This one may turn into a hot one for me. I like it cold, but it's, it's drying me up a little bit too much for me to drink however many glasses I'd want to drink of this at a time. But it's very good. Sangria. Let's first take a minute to admire how gorgeous this is. This if this was in a wine glass, you may think it was wine actually, and ooh, I haven't tried this yet, but imagine actually doing the non-alcoholic sangria, just throw your little apple bits in there. This could be a thing. Ooh, it smells good. Oh. Okay, this does have that aroma, fragrant, fruity mix. I'm not quite smelling that body that a normal wine would have that would go into a sangria, but I'm nervous, I hope I like it. <laughs> oh, I like it. <laughs> I like this. Ooh, it's very smooth. It has a mix between what you think of as a sangria and like a fruit punch maybe. Oh, that is potent. <laughs> Ooh, I may have overbrewed this one. <laughs> this leaves me with that aftertaste of freshness almost like you brushed your teeth, where you brush your teeth and you're like, oh, my mouth feels amazing. That's what this is doing to me. And I dig it. I don't think I could have this one all the time, but this would definitely get on that repeat cycle of I need. Alrighty then, so there we have it. That is the cold brew trio from Blue Bertico. If I was going to have one of these in my fridge all year round, it would be lemonade because it's that one that I would never get tired of. I think the other two I could definitely get tired of. They'd be more of the sparingly, I'm in the mood for it kind of teas compared to lemonade I could just keep in the fridge at all times. Of all three though, I think sangria is the funnest. I think that that one blew me away a little bit because I'm still smiling. That was so delicious. And I have to say, I'm a little disappointed in pink grapefruit. Still very good, but I think that I might like that one better hot. So I'm gonna have to try that. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I do believe all three of these teas are from Bluebird Summer Collection. So if you are interested in those, I would go check them out and order them now. Subscribe if you wanna see more from me and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.